Hi, I'm Michaela and I'm nine years old and today I will be having two chefs compete to make my dream dish. Kayla. Hi. Oh, I'm Merle. And I'm Katira. Hi, I'm Merle. I was a Tasty producer for years, and now I focus primarily on vegan food, wellness, and sustainability. Hi, my name's Katira. I was on season 10 of MasterChef, and I'm super excited to be here on I Draw You Cook. So, a little birdie told me that you are going to be going to a dragon's birthday party? Yeah. Oh, wow. How old is this dragon? Oh, good question. 13. And is the dragon a girl or a boy? A girl. Hmm. I love that she gave the dragon a personality. I feel like the dragon is her. So <laughs> what I really need to know is, like, what would you eat at a dragon's birthday party? Um, probably fireballs and burnt trees with fire ants and fireflies. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this gets more and more creative as we go along. What are they drinking? They're drinking a lava drink. She is a girl who knows what she wants, and I love that. Why don't you go ahead and draw it for us? We have a big plate since okay. it's a big birthday party, and then we have the big fireball that they will be eating. And it has like flames coming out of it. Flames everywhere. This is impressive. This makes sense. The dragon would like to eat the fireball because it needs fire to go in its stomach so it's able to breathe fire. So is the fire Sweet? Mm. Is it yes. hot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's hot sweet. and sweet? Yeah. Sophisticated palate this dragon has. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I'm just trying to hear her and see her and imagine what I'm possibly going to make. What is your favorite food in the world? My mom's spaghetti. What is your second favorite food in the world? <laughs> um, probably fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So I love this fireball. I think I got the hang of that. What about the lava? It would be like a lava drink. Okay. Inside the drink is rocks and around the rim of the drink. Okay. The drink itself would be red and orange and pink or like a magenta. And at the bottom, it'll be more of the rocks. I'm getting very nervous. I don't know how I'm gonna do this drink. So we have the burnt trees right here. All right, right there. And then one of them is a gray tree because it's really burnt. Oh, so it's ash. Bad food doesn't taste very good. I think I can get really creative and do something cool with those two trees. And then at the bottom, we're gonna have some fireflies and some fire ants because these fire ants and these fireflies will give them more fire. It's very uh, yes. self-conscious. Empowering. <laughs> so Michaela, do you think that we can make this for you? Yes. Yes? I have done a ton of insane challenges on MasterChef. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go make the best dragon birthday party dish we can possibly do. Great. So here's my plan. For the fireball, I'm going for spaghetti emblazoned with a fiery bolognese sauce. And that will be topped with an escabeche of multicolored peppers and vinegar glazed onions. For the burnt tree, I have tilapia with an Asian inspired honey soy glaze. For the incinerated tree, I'm going to prepare a Cajun blackened filet of tilapia. For the fireflies and fire ants, I'm preparing a fruit salsa. And finally for the lava, I'll be making a dragon surprise made out of grenadine syrup, orange juice, pineapple juice, a colored sugared rim, and some multicolored ice cubes for the rocks. So for my dish, I'm gonna be going above and beyond with sweets. For the fireball, I'm gonna be making a super fudgy chocolate vegan cake that's gonna be stuffed with peanut butter candies and then topped with sugar glass flames. For the trees, I'm going to be shaping melted hard candy and then dipping them into chocolate. For the ants, I'm going to be assembling strawberries for the body that will be propped up on toothpicks. For the fireflies, I'll be dipping popcorn into melted chocolate. And finally, for my lava, I will be layering a mixed berry smoothie with a banana smoothie and then top it with nerds. Are you ready for this? How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous too. I mean, it's so hard impressing like little kids. I'd rather cook for Gordon Ramsay. 
than for a nine year old. Okay, I do not agree with that. No! Katora has a potential advantage over me because she's been on MasterChef. She's done these cooking competitions before. I have not. I'm gonna be faking it till I make it. <laughs> My first step is making colored ice cubes. I'm trying to make the colors of the rocks that she wanted. So she wants yellow, orange, and like a gray, blacky sort of rock. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I spoke too soon. Oh, <laughs> what do you know? They're marbled. They're marbled cubes. They're marbled. Thank you. Marbled lava rocks. So my first step, I'm making a cake. I'm gonna be making a chocolate cake for the fireball. First, we've got some whole wheat flour. I've got some dark cocoa powder. And I have some baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt in here as well. I'm mixing all the dry ingredients first. Also, don't forget, my entire thing is vegan. That's oh, yeah. a little twist. I know that Meryl has a lot of experience preparing vegan food. I mean, I'm sure she can do well with this. I'm actually <laughs> playing up to my weakness right now because I hate baking. When I think of a birthday party, I think of sweets. And so to me, a birthday cake just seemed like it made the most sense. I think it's worth the risk. So okay. if that doesn't work out, I am screwed. <laughs> Now I'm mixing together all my wet ingredients, almond milk, some applesauce, since I'm not using eggs. Excellent vegan substitute for many uh, vegan desserts. Now I'm adding quite a lot of maple syrup into this as well. Apple cider vinegar and some vanilla extract. I am about to start on the blackened fish. Did you say blackened fish? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Use your imagination, darling. I've never been to a dragon's birthday party, but I have nieces and nephews, and I've been to kids' birthday parties, and I've never, ever seen fish served. What? We have wildly <laughs> different worlds going on right now. I just, I'm like flabbergasted. <laughs> I decide to cut the fish raw as opposed to waiting for it to cook uh, and then cutting it after. When you cut protein raw, you're able to manipulate the shape a lot better. Do they look like trees? <laughs> it does look like a, it looks like a flesh tree. Like a, ew. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. I'm feeling really good. <laughs> I feel like with kids, they want sweet things. And I don't know if fish is going to do it for Michaela. I feel like it might be too much of a risk. But that's probably going to come back and, and bite me somehow. Because like, who knows? Next, I'm moving on to spicing it. So it is a little Caribbean Cajun Creole infusion. So I'm gonna put a bit of garlic powder, put a bit of cumin, a little bit of cayenne because it's a dragon's party after all. I decided to go spicy because her tastes are a lot more refined than the average nine-year-old. I am sweating. I am too. Oh. I sweat exclusively. Oh my God, me too. I will let you know if you let me know when no, I start I, I to have a sweat stash. I can feel I can it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna combine my liquid ingredients with my dry ingredients. The smell of this is making me think of when I used to use an easy bake oven. I don't bake a lot of sweet things, so this is very nostalgic right now. When was the like last time you baked a cake? Never. Well, I mean like easy bake. I really never bake. I don't have very much confidence in myself when it comes to baking because I never do it. There's too much that can go wrong. Why would you pick something that you're not confident at? She should have just gone savory. My batter is mixed together. I'm gonna pour it into the two sheet pans. Oh, that looks good. It's a little chunky. I was, I was gonna say. I'm thinking I don't have enough batter for both of these. I think I might add all my batter to this one. What's gonna happen when it rises? Oh, it's gonna rise. I didn't even think for a second about this stupid thing rising. And now I realize I might have done everything wrong. This is why I don't bake. Is it is it a stodgy mix? Is it actually going to be flat or is it going to rise? I think... don't know. Wow, good luck to your kid. I think it's gonna be fine. It's still chocolate cake it's at the still end of the day. Cake. It's chocolate cake. I hear you, sister. Yeah. So I'm distinguishing between the burnt tree and the burnished tree. So the first tree is going to have more of an Asian flair. So it's very simple, but it's actually one of my favorite recipes. It's literally three items. So it's honey, soy sauce, garlic, and then if you're feeling fancy, you can add some acid in the form of lime or lemon juice. Put that all in together, marinate whatever protein you're using, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny Girard, magic, hey presto, boom, bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. <laughs> With the candy, I'm going to bake it and melt it down, and once it cools off, I'm gonna break it apart to make flames. This is so much plastic. You like harming the environment. I know. This is like all the work I've done to do sustainability <laughs> stuff is being reversed in this moment. If I crush them, they'll be a little more chaotic, and then the ends will frill when they melt, so it'll look more like flames when I crack them. I will be using uh, this <laughs> to crush Whoa. them. Whoa! I might break this table, though. So good. 
Here is the water to boil our spaghetti. Right. Did you just say spaghetti? Yes. Spaghetti and fish? I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this is insane. Deciding to cook a spaghetti bolognese is either the smartest decision I've ever made or the most stupid decision I've ever made. So I'm starting with my bolognese. I'm going to use the holy trinity of Italian cuisine. Celery, carrots, and an onion. And I'm going to just fry that down, give it a bit of color. And then we will add the pancetta. You know, it's tough when you try and replicate something nostalgic to a person. I'm just praying that her mother and I have the same cooking style. I'm not totally sure that a big sheet is gonna be ideal for this because I wanna try to control the colors as much as I can once the candy melts. So instead I'm gonna be using three individual little sheet pans. This looks like a flame to me. I'm a little worried. Oh, it does! Adding my beef mince in now. Oh my God, this smells so good. I know you guys can't smell this at home. But take my word for it, it smells great. Now we are adding our tomatoes. Obviously you normally put tomato paste in a sauce, but I added a lot in order to make it really vibrantly red because it's a fireball! So to make the trees, I'm gonna melt more candy. Should only take between like five and 10 minutes, but once there's heat added, things <laughs> lose control. So I'm gonna make an escabeche, which is generally, it's kind of like a Latin dish. I'm gonna go with some slices for a few of the peppers, and then I'm gonna keep some of them in the half shape that they're in. So there's space in the oven for me. Uh, Taking my peppers in. Well, we've got one success in one <gasps> terrifying failure. How do you burn flames? How do you burn flames? I found a way. God. Oh my God, that's so bad. That's so bad. I will not, okay. Oh my God. It's just like, if, as if I had like scraped the bottom of an oven that I'd had for 15 years. I cannot feed that to her. I don't think legally I could feed that to her. But this looks like a flame. You know what, you deserve a high five. Really? That's magnificent, well done. Thank you. I'm impressed. So the trees look crazy. They do not resemble trees the slightest. They look more like lizard keychains. Before you go about laughing at me, <laughs> too late, <laughs> I'm going to shape them with this very sharp knife. Oh no. I just heard a popping sound and the top popped off. I have felt so confident about these trees. They look like pretty much anything other than a tree and I'm just getting so frustrated. Oh good, the whole thing fell apart. We're just gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just melt this back into one semblance of a tree and then I'm gonna cover them both in chocolate and that's putting that to bed. <gasps> oh my God, disaster. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. How are they? like right on the edge. They look beautiful. That was just the nick of time. Literally, if they'd been in there three seconds longer, it'd have been a wrap. <sighs> to make the giant ants, I'm going to be putting three strawberries together. That'll be the anatomy of an ant. I'm gonna decorate them and make them look cute. The ants, I feel excellent about. They look adorable. These ants may save me in the long run. Let's be honest, the ants are the only thing I feel confident about in this whole thing. Okay, so I'm making a very non-traditional salsa. Just sliced up some pineapple, some red onions, strawberries, some cilantro, mango slices. It's not the type of salsa that you might be used to because <laughs> it doesn't exist. Cake has come out of the oven Ooh! and it looks great. It, it didn't overflow, which I'm very pleased about. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to portioning off three different layers mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put a hole in the middle and I'm gonna fill it with candy. There's a lot of chocolate and sweet going oh, yeah. on here. There's only chocolate and <laughs> sweets going on here. I was really nervous about this part, but it's actually going exactly how I wanted it to. I'm really relieved at this point. I'm gonna try the cake. Oh my God. I think I've rethought the fish shape. So I'm cutting the fish and it's all going awry. I can't seem to get the shape correct. This isn't going according to plan. Okay, that is terrible, okay? That is French for terrible. They're looking more like toothpicks than anything else. So I am lightly sifting some flour onto it to just give it a little bit more crust. And I'm popping them in there to fry. They're really small, thin fillets of fish, so they don't need that long. The go is, <gasps> I broke a tree. Fine. Fine. Two more left. Broke a tree, you're hitting a little too close to home. <laughs> These are all vegan versions of candies because traditional candies are not. So I'm using yellow and red candy to go with the yellow and red scheme. The difference between our stations is abominable. I am embarrassed. Now I gotta slide the top of this on there. Looks good. 
I'm going to start with the rim for the drink, for the lava drink that she's requested. Now she's asked for multicolored lava rocks, so I've chosen to replicate that with colored sugar. Sounds simple, but everything that we've done today has sounded simple in our heads. I'm trying to rim the glass. I'm going to try honey. Honey sticks to everything, right? <laughs> This is an important moment. I'm gonna break my flame to put on top of this. Beautiful. The flames are perfect. It looks exactly like the drawing in my mind. It couldn't have gone better. The inspiration for this dragon's surprise is a tequila sunrise. Clearly, we're not using tequila today. So I'm adding the grenadine into the bottom. Cherries, some fruit to the base. Not bad at all. We've got our volcanic ash ice cubes. My only fear is that the more they melt, the more discolored my drink will become. But, oh my God, it's amazing. So I'm doing my drink now. One layer is gonna be very banana based, and then the rest of it's just gonna be like a deep strawberry raspberry lava. What is gonna happen when I pour this on top of this? Is it going to just combine? Oh, actually that looks kind of cool. I toss some nerds on there too, so I feel like it looks kind of good. I'm gonna make my little fireflies. It's just plain popped popcorn, and I'm dipping it in chocolate. Because that's what I do, apparently. <laughs> the cool. fish, it's a lot browner than I'd hoped for. So what I'm doing now is just burning off some of the marinade to see if I can get it the color of ash. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? You know, I was feeling very confident going into this. And I'm looking to my right, and Meryl's cake is looking great. I look to my left, and I have a saucepan full of oil that I don't need that has almost ruined my ash. I may have messed this up. Shall we start plating? Let's see what we're gonna do here. This is, what an adventure this is. You're gonna taste like this. You're gonna connect to that. These crazy ants. I just need my little fireflies, and then yay! We're good. Yeah, so I'm painting my trees. This is the ash of the burnt tree. My spaghetti, adding my bolognese. Well, it's looking like a fireball. Let's focus on the salsa. Do you know what? I'm really impressed with the peppers. Look at that flame, baby. Yes! You know what? My ice cubes have melted, so if time permits, I'm actually going to make another drink because it was supposed to look way better than that. But aside from that, you know. I'd rather eat yours. I'd rather eat mine. Yeah. But yours looks better. Yep. I'm like, wait a minute, how did this happen? You had crushed candy and burnt things and suddenly it's this gorgeous cake. I'm very nervous. You did good, kid. Let's yeah. go find out what Michaela thinks. Let's see if I can lift this thing. Whew. Overall, I think my dish turned out phenomenally. It's got all the colors that she asked for and I realized that she was very specific about that. So I tried my best to get as close to that as possible. I really love how the bolognese turned out. It was absolutely delicious. And the drink turned out way better than I could have hoped. I got the volcanic rock down to a tea. I just hope she likes it as much as I enjoyed preparing it. This dish turned out a lot more chaotic than I had initially planned. But the cake turned out amazing. The flames turned out exactly how I wanted them to look. The ants are adorable. It's very accurate to what she drew. All I can hope is that Michaela can envision this dish at a dragon's birthday party. Bring out my dragon birthday dinner! They made like the fireball spaghetti. This is a lava. It looks a lot like my picture that I drew. I'm so happy that she recognizes each of the individual elements on the dish. <laughs> I like the spaghetti. It's almost like my mom's spaghetti. <laughs> oh boy, I'm in trouble. However, almost isn't quite exactly. Is it fish? It's good. Her reaction to the fish, everything I could have ever hoped for. I think this one's a little bit spicy, which I really like. I don't really like bell peppers. You know, I suppose if there's one thing on the plate that she doesn't like, I'll take that. Maybe there's a chance for me. It's really good. It tastes like those rock candies. I think my favorite is probably the spaghetti. What do you think we gave your spoon? 
Is it soup? <laughs> so cool. Michaela loves the way it looks. I'm so happy. Oh, I've lost. I've lost. It looks like they made my firewall into like this big cake. And they made like the fire ants with strawberries too. And I think these are the burnt trees. I don't blame Michaela for not being able to identify the trees properly. Seems like in my picture for like the drink, they got even like the little rocks inside, but they didn't really get the color that they wanted. I feel like my dish is getting scrutinized more than Gatora's. Are these M&Ms in the middle? I like it. I really do. She had no idea it was vegan, so I'm taking that as a win. Oh. <laughs> I like the taste of the flames. A lot of hard work went into these flames. I'm thinking this might actually be the way I could win. It has chocolate over it, kind of like a chocolate-covered strawberry. I like it. It's a little bit hard, like stale. I knew I should have popped that popcorn fresh. I think it's lemon. It tastes kind of like lemon or strawberry. I really like this lava. Honestly, I'm feeling really good about this. I'm thinking maybe I might win. I may as well go home now, guys. <laughs> what am I doing here? Hi. 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 You eat some, some nice, tasty things, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, I know you had two dishes. Mm -hmm. So which one was your favorite, the spaghetti or the cake? Um, I'm going to say the spaghetti. <gasps> <laughs> I'm definitely bummed out. But I admire Katora's strategy. Chef Katora, because you made the best dish, I'm going to give you my <gasps> Thank you so much. I won! <laughs> this is honestly my new most prized possession. I think you made a very good choice. It looks delicious. It looks delicious. Oh. Meryl is the most amazing competitor that I could have ever hoped to go up against. She inspires me to be a better chef. I'll definitely be back, but maybe I won't be baking. All right, well, let's get to this dragon birthday party, shall we? Yeah.